Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Life Tech Nepal and I am Pankaj. So friends, today in this video, we are gonna learn about SPSS in full detail. So what we gonna learn is SPSS and it is the full tutorial. I got uh, to see that there are many confusion to different students and even for the future reference, this is a full tutorial video of SPSS uh, you can't uh, learn everything, but you will learn those important things that will definitely help you for making a perfect uh, uh, small uh, project report. Okay, so let's get started. So friends, you can see I am in my desktop screen or laptop screen and i have made one small presentation to show you what you're gonna learn today so today i'm gonna show you how to download and install spss full version for free okay number two we will be discussing how to entry of different data that is multiple choice checkbox likert scale from questionnaire to spss and the third, we're gonna see how to analyze MCQs to uh, uh, different graph, pie chart, uh, uh, or bar graph, or to find out the mean, median, mode, uh, standard deviation, variance, etc. And similarly, same for checkbox questions and Likert scale questions. So this will be our overview topic of today. So this video might be long so be patient and keep learning so first of all we're gonna see how to download and install spss full version in your desktop for free actually it is a paid software but you're gonna uh, use the crack version for that you're gonna go to your browser and type 1337x.to this is a torrent website so search here spss IBM sorry IBM SPSS you can also type crack you will get multiple results okay first let me tell you you should must have your uh, torrent uh, browser okay if you have the torrent browser then only you can download this because this is a torrent website so to have this uh, i mean to download this uh, software you should have a torrent uh, uh, software for that you can download torrent software from simply from your uh, browser just type torrent uh, uh, software and you can download it for free after downloading torrent you need to open torrent and then go to this website and source IBM SPSS. Now you will get multiple links to download, but I would suggest this second one. Okay, the IBM SPSS, the latest version is 26. So if you download this in your computer through uh, torrent, then what you wanna see is you will see this. So this file will be downloaded to you. So when you open this, you will get one this type of file and this is winrar file that is you have to crack this or you can you have to uh, convert this into normal folder for that you just need to right click your mouse and then just click extract files when you click extract files and then you will see an op window you will have to just click ok and then this folder will open okay so this folder will automatically come here now when you open this you can get this uh, software okay for here it says read me so you have to click it and see how, what is the installation process first of all you have to install the application okay so after installing you have to go to the installation live directory and then copy the i serve c file and then paste it in the installation directory where is that i service file you can get i service file over here in crack you can see this is the i service file you just have to copy this and paste 
app. First of all, you have to install this application. So to install this application, you just need to go to uh, okay this, and you have to double click this. After you double click, you will see one drive automatically created in your PC storage box. So here or anywhere one SPSS uh, box will be created like this local disk C, local disk E, one SPSS disk will automatically be created over here. When you click that, then there will be uh, install option. You can install it. Now they, that will ask you the, so after you install that, it will ask you about the uh, package, I mean payment. So you don't need to pay. After you install, just close all the window and then go to crack and then go to ISOR and just right click and then copy this. When you copy this, then one thing, one last thing you have to do that is go to PC, then local disk, then program files. Don't miss any of these steps because each and every step will be very crucial so that you will get the free version. So go to now MBA, uh, sorry IBM, then go to SPSS and go to statistics and 26. Okay, so this is the folder and this is the place where we have to uh, copy paste that uh, particular file. So the file that you have copied from that uh, ISO file that you have to just go and paste. After paste, you have to, you will have to continue. Um, okay and it will replace that file here and then you you can use spss for free now we have completed the first topic of our lesson right so number one is complete now let's go to number two the number two is how to do entry of different data that is multiple choice question checkbox question and likert scale from questionnaire into spss now let's first see what type of questionnaire we have so first of all i will show you my question so this is my questionnaire i will go to edit okay some if someone uh, send you the questionnaire or the link that you have for the questionnaire when you open it you will see this right and here you will also see this edit this form option when you click this you will go to your question and response section so you can see this is my questionnaire okay but this is too long right so you don't need the long questionnaire it can be used but it will be too lengthy you can see i have 73 responses but i think so to post or tabulate those 73 response in spss will be a very difficult task okay so uh for that what you have to do is make sure that you have less number of questions that make it uh, around 10 or 15 and you have less number of response for that i have created another same questionnaire here so you can see my questionnaire is very small now and also i have got only 26 response which is good enough okay so make sure you have less questions and less responses so you can easily fill up the entries in the spss now let's go to the spss software so let's go to the start then you can see when you will you will install it you will see the uh, icon of ibm spss statistics 26 when you click this then automatically spss software will be open now i have already done the tabulation right but you can see you can see here the 26 number is empty because i will show you how to fill this table first of all you have to make a code for that at the bottom uh, left corner you can see data view and variable view First of all, you need to go to the data view, sorry, variable view. When you go to variable view, you need to code everything that you need. Okay. So first, let's say put under name, you put ID, under type, it would be numeric, width, let it be 8, decimals, you need to keep it, keep it 0 or leave it as it is. So I prefer 0 because automatically it will be 2, so you make it 0. 
label you can give anything like id then respondent id okay i have written respondents id now in value this is the important part i will tell you this letter missing you just leave this volume it should be eight align right measures our all data are nominal data make sure that our all data are nominal data but the likert scale data will be you have to write scale or you can write nominal as well okay so let's make it nominal this nominal and scale is used to analyze or uh, uh, the different type of uh, analysis of the likert scale so i will do the normal analysis so i, will, uh, I make i am making it nominal and for the role just leave it as it is now the most important part values so this is the important part so let's do the uh, tabulation right so in that variable view this gender you will after the id you will write gender this all will be empty i am just showing you how to write so number two there will be gender numeric eight zero now in level you can write gender of respondents i have just written gender right in value okay uh, here you everything will be same now in value now this is the important part of coding right so why i have kept gender here because my question here says number one question is gender so i have written gender here now values how to write values so you can see my question here male and female right also other but uh, no one has responded other so i am just keeping it male and female so let's say one for male and two for female so here gender in value click here in value just click here one and label it as male m a l e and just click add when you click add in this box one equals to male will come for female just click two and type your female then two add here and then one male two female will come here after you do this just click ok and then your coding will be done for gender now similarly for age just click a, write age then level it as age of respondents or anything you like okay and for uh, value uh, actually the, for gender we will type the age manually so i am just leaving this so there is no need to put any value now for education why education because my third question is education so education we have seen there are plus two bachelors masters and phd so let's say one for plus two two for bachelor three for master and four for phd so in value for education we will type here value one and we'll type here plus two now we'll click add right so automatically here one is equals to plus two will come similarly for two we'll put bachelor for three we'll put masters and for four we'll put here phd and click add all of them and it will automatically come here right so everything will be here and you just need to click ok then your coding is done for education similarly for brand let's say sorry for question number three sorry let's say so i'm leaving this question do you use mobile phone why don't you use mobile phone so these are normal questions where you don't need to analyze them so similarly go from which brand phone do you use right so let's say uh, this the brand is the uh, keyword so let's take brand so this is the, i'm doing all these for multiple choice question remember whatever we have done gender is education brand everything is for multiple choice question and these are the uh, checkbox question and lastly finally we have the uh, like a scale question for for first i'm doing for multiple choice question so let's say brand so for brand i have type brand then in the uh, label we have typed respondents phone brand and in value what we'll do is you can see samsung so you can type one for samsung two for apple three for huawei and similarly it will go on so similarly when you come to value for brand you click here keep value one samsung two apple three huawei and similarly whatever option you have or whatever i am just doing it uh, on my research for phone so i am doing it uh, writing it these things what whatever option you have whatever topic whatever question you have you will add accordingly right so after clicking those, those 
value this is the coding you are doing right so after clicking ok the value for brand will be done similarly let's say what is the another question another question is price right price so uh, so let's say one for this option two for this option three for this option similarly we'll just keep price and just we'll do coding right so for let's say os os means operating system for my study that is you can see os so let's say one for android two for ios right so os is written here the label is given and android one for android two for ios and three for others option i have kept okay now whatever we have done till now was for multiple choice question so you can see the question number nine is checkbox question so in our learning part we are done with multiple choice question now we will do checkbox question entry and then like a scale finally okay so first let's go to the checkbox question so this is the checkbox question what do you see while purchasing a mobile phone right so what do you see do while purchasing a mobile phone right so here the options are screen camera cost speed storage brand name operating system and looks or opinions right for this we need to go to spss in variable view you will type each variable in a single form so when your question number for each question uh, above we have made only one variable like right? operating system we kept os and just code it right but for this multiple choice question whatever option you have you have to make variable that much number of okay sorry you have to make that much number of variable uh, according to your option that you have okay let's see uh, in our question here we have one two three four five six seven and eight options right so what we will do is we have to create eight like from here one two three four five six seven and eight variable and each variable will be the options like screen camera cost right so similarly here is screen camera cost and our two looks or opinions right so label if you want to give you can give or you want to leave you can leave okay now let's say what to what to do the coding over here so for coding you can see either uh, the respondents will select one or two or may select all right for that what we can do is whoever select just tick it then we can keep it as yes and whoever leaves the option we can keep that option for no so let's say if someone uh, check in for camera cost and speed and leaves other then we can say that the screen is for no camera is yes cost is yes speed is as yes and stories brand os and looks are no so for that what we can do is whenever there is tick mark we can say yes whenever there is no tick mark we can say no so let's, let's keep the coding as tick mark yes no tick mark no so you have to write tick mark no tick mark why to write that so for simplicity we say let's say zero for s or one for no and label it as label it here add it and you will get the box here right you will get the code here in your box now just click okay okay and your coding will be done now you have to do same thing for all of this so what you will do you will just go here the right click your uh, mouse and then copy after you do copy just go in the second option and just click paste right so in here also you go and click paste here also you go and click paste for all the checkbox variable you have to just paste whatever uh, paste this one option only that is zero for yes and one for no up to your looks that is whatever option you have or uh, that is a uh, checkbox question multiple checkbox answers right so we are done with two and the well, let's see our other question so our question number 11 says what factors for choosing a mobile phone right so what do you consider while choosing a phone right so there is intention feature brand name social and this, this, this you can see it is a multiple choice question so for multiple choice question what we need to do is just create one variable let's say the variable is factor and the coding will be one for intention two for feature three for brand name four for social influence and five for product sacrifice so that what we have done here is 
the name label it as variable as factors and it is numeric everything is done whatever we have said and you can label it as you can label it as influencing factors for purchase and for value you have to go here click here and keep one for intention two for feature three for brand name four for social peer five for procedure and click add to each option and click ok your coding will be done for this now the last question is remaining that is the Likert scale and the complex one right so uh, my question here is what do you consider following while mobile phone purchase right so i have written one is strongly considered and five don't consider at all so you can do checkbox over here right wait i mean your respondents will do check uh, tick uh, for each uh, variable like physical attribute brand uniqueness now in similarly whatever you have done for checkbox question you have to do same like uh, like this is physical attribute brand uniqueness ease of operation so whatever option you have here in in your uh, column this column uh, then you have to uh, name these variables over here separately like consider at i will show you the full name that is consider attribute consider brand consider unique consider ease so let me tell you one more thing you can't have same na name for variable under the name section like i have already brand over here so i can't type brand here so that is why what i have done consider brand i have written so this will be the two different word so i can uh, figure out the difference right for that also uh, uh, you can write two words under the name section so under the brand under let's say this is the brand and you want to type another word here you can't type that it will be an error so for that like you have, when you want to type two words then you have to do underscore in between the two words like let's say the first word is consider and second word is attribute so you need to put underscore in between to make it as one word and there will be no errors right so let's say every uh, variable is done here these are same let's say it is default to a two so you need to make it zero to each and every decimal places right let me make it so this is done you can give the label as physical attribute brand uniqueness ease of operation anything you would like to write now the coding is the main part and this all are same now coding is the main part right so for coding of the Likert scale let me show you the question so in question you might have here uh, highly agree agree uh, neutral disagree and highly disagree but this is the consider so i'll write here highly consider uh, consider neutral don't consider and highly don't consider or don't consider at all right so you will have highly agree agree neutral anything you would like to keep you can keep it so let's say uh, we need to put one for highly agree uh, highly consider two for consider three for neutral and so on so to code this we need to go to the option right in the script the value under the value we need to put one for highly agree type two here two sorry here two for consider type here consider right so you can type here and after typing you need to add right so like we have done uh, similarly in the previous uh, uh, levels so for three neutral four uh, don't consider five uh, highly don't consider you can type one for uh, highly agree uh, agree neutral don't agree or or uh, just uh, and in the five there will be highly don't agree right highly uh, agree don't agree right or you can say disagree sorry that word I, I was missing so neutral disagree and highly disagree right so you can click ok and your coding will be done that's it our all coding is done now only thing left for us is to tabulate our values from the uh, questionnaire responses to the SPSS for that what we will do we are working here in variable view right now after the coding these are the coding we need to go to data view now you can see upside 
the id is created why because we have kept id so whatever variable here you can see in this column that will be in this raw offsite raw in the data view you can see here so these are you can see the offsite table that is in raw all of our variable is automatically uh, situated right now you can see different type of data over here right but in your uh, in your computer there will be no data there you have done the coding everything is done everything is set but in data view here will be no data so how to type the data so i have you can see i have already written all the data right but one data is missing that is question number 26 sorry variable number 26 data is missing or you can say respondents or id number 26 data is missing for each question so i will right now show you live example to enter the variable of that uh, sorry response of that 26th person in this table so similarly you can put those responses from id 1 to id 26 or id whatever you have or how many response you have you can just put it right so after the coding you can get all these uh, very easy you can type here manually or you can select option as well right you can see in every box we have got the options right you can see the options over here why these options are here because we have already typed the coding in the variable view so variable view is done now it's time for data view now in the data view we need to put the answers now let me tell you one important thing okay i'll tell you to tell you later after filling this 26 number form so uh, i am so let's say what's my 26 number response is so go to responses in your questionnaire it is the summary we don't need this and uh, we don't need question we need individual uh, answers right so let's go to question number 26 uh, sorry response number 26 this is two let's so go to 26 okay so this is 26 the number response so gender is female so what we'll do in spss we'll just click double tap here and go to female now you will you will let me tell you one thing when you type variable view your coding is done when you come to data view it will not be uh, you will not get option like here what i am getting like uh, i am getting here these options i am getting here these options to make these options appear here you need to click this button okay you can see these are the value label button this is the value label button you can change the value from the word to number so this is the interchange for the value that is uh, when you when we are coding we have put on the uh, kept the values like one for this two for that right so the one two three whatever that is it is the value for numeric and uh, one for that two for that uh, these uh, whatever we have typed the word that is in a view so right now we are seeing these are in word view but when we need to change it in number view then you can just click it then you will get the number view that is uh, one for something two for something this is seven for something right so in this you will don't get the option if you want to code manually you can code it here but if you want the options you can just click it so you can get the options right so i would prefer this method right because we get the options so when double click it our option is female so for this uh, let me go to my questionnaire so it is 21 to 23 right but but there is no option here there is no option but i have asked him and uh, manually uh, you can see here there is no option but in my uh, big in this uh, response question there was one option other and then he can type his age so i have not used these options i have used the uh, type option box right so in this questionnaire uh, the the age was 22 written okay so for that you need to put age 22 
you can see this was my previous questionnaire so i have converted this questionnaire to this so that is why we are going for short responses right so the age was 22 let me copy this my keyboard is not working properly okay it's 22 for education we get the option for different so let's see what education he has or university has i think it is c female so question number uh, three that education is bachelor so we'll choose bachelor over here now let's go to four uh, do you use mobile phone yes so we don't need this we just go to question number six that is which brand phone do you use that is oppo and vivo is selected so we'll just go here and select oppo and vivo now let's go to next question that is price that is 10k to 20k so we will simply select 10k to 20k now os so it is oppo and vivo so of course it will be android let's see yes the op the answer is android now these are the entry for multiple choice now this is the entry for let me do multiple multiple choice first so factor for choosing a phone that is social influencer peer right so we go here and we go for factors so this is the factor and we select social peer right now this is left so what we need to type here is or select here is multiple choice question that is for screen camera these are things right so the camera is take cost is take storage is take and looks and appearance is taken so camera cost storage and looks and appearance so for all these options we need to do as and for screen no speed will be no brand name will be no operating system will be no and author will be no so let's say camera cost storage and looks so let's go here let's search camera camera is here camera will be yes cost will also be yes and then we have what other thing was uh, stories and look so we select stories here yes because it was tick box and look was also yes okay now you can see other options are on on tick so we will put no for other options so let's say here no 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 and again no so all this is done now only one question is left that is like a scale so this question is left right so we have these uh, variables and we have these numbers so, so one two three four five so let's say for physical attribute it is uh, one uh, for brand it is two so we have written one for uh, highly consider two for consider three for neutral don't consider and highly don't consider so for one it is uh, in for physical attribute it is one selected so we'll choose uh, highly consider right so we'll go here uh, we go to consider attribute and here we'll choose highly consider now similarly we'll do all of this let's say uh, brand is two uniqueness is three so two three three one so let's go here select two three three and one other one two three four options are left so let's go here uh it is two 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 and three okay so we will select same same it is two it is two it is two and here it is three so you can see the coding coding is also done in variable view and the data is also filled in data view so as i have show you, shown you the example of 26 number uh, id you can do similar type of response filling in this tabulation uh, accordingly right according to your report whatever you have got the response from your respondents right so everything is set everything is done our coding is done and our tabulation is also done now only one thing is left that is how to analyze these data how to find by, uh, 
पाई चार्ट बार ग्राफ और मेन मेडियन मोड और स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन वेरियंस वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट इन अ ग्राफिकल और टेबुलेशन फॉर्म और नोमेरिकल फॉर्म राइट सो फॉर दैट लेट मी ओपन माई प्रेजेंटेशन सो वी आर डॉन विथ वन वी आर डॉन विथ टू नाउ दिस इज नंबर थ्री हाउ टू एनालाइज एम सी क्यू दैट इज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन सो लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन वेरिएबल ओके सो लेट से आई विल डू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एज एंड जेंडर हाउ टू एनालाइज एज एंड जेंडर सिमिलरली यू कैन एनालाइज any of the variable which uh, are related to M uh, uh, mcq that is multiple choice question accordingly in the similar manner so i will only uh, show you how to analyze gender and age to save the time okay so it's already been a long video so be patient for a little time that is the final part analysis now let's go to gender for gender you click the gender box and go to analyze when you go to analyze you will see descriptives statistics you will go to frequencies okay now click frequencies now you need to select gender so this is gender is selected and now you you will click this send button now in variables gender will come now you need to go to charts and click pie chart or if you want bar graph you can get bar graph so i play play for pie chart so i click pie chart You click here. You want frequencies or percentile? I want percentile, so I'll choose percentile and I will do continue. When I will do continue, I will get the pie chart and the percentage table, uh, which we we can use in our MS Word in our report. Okay, for analysis. So let's click continue. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, you need also click okay. Okay. So the. analysis is being conducted let's wait a while while we are we are doing the first time it may take a uh, long time but after that it will be uh, very fast okay you can see we have got the statistic that is total number of response is 26 and this is the table that is male 14 female this much percent of male female both we have got and also we have got the index and the pie chart now if you want to use this table in your ms word how will you do it for that you just need to click here okay so you just need to click here and just copy then your table will be copied and you can go to ms word and paste it so uh, that your uh, this topic will be copied now if you want to copy this chart this pie chart then you also need to right click your button and click copy this chart will be copied and you can paste it in your ms word that you want to analyze or you want to make the report so this is for gender now let's close it let's go for is for is what we will do is go to analyze go to descriptives go to frequencies now for is we need uh, okay so gender is selected let's move it back let's select is let's send it to variables and let's go to statistics we need mean we need median we also need mode let's say we need standard deviation we need variance we need range we need minimum maximum everything right whatever you want just select it and click continue in chart if you want these things you can click or you just can leave it so let's say pie chart also is selected so let's keep it now let's click okay and you will get the analysis result so here we go in statistics we have mean for age median mode standard deviation variance range minimum maximum everything now in age we have here uh, this is the cumulative percentage table and this is the chart so main thing that we need here is this table right so you just need to do this right click copy and paste whatever you want to paste so this is also done so let's see we are done with mcqs right now we'll go to analyze checkbox how to analyze the checkbox question right so in our spss our checkbox question or the response starts from 
screen to mux so from screen camera cost speed these all are one one question so what we need to do is we need to uh, have analysis of these right so for that to analyze the checkbox we need to go to analyze then we need to go to multiple response then go to define variable set okay let's click it now whatever there are the variables re related to one question we have to select them and put it in variable set let's say it starts from a screen right so for that we need to select a screen send it camera send cost send speed send stories send brand name sent operating system sent and looks also sent if all these are sent you have to put the counted value one remember always you put one as a counted value now name it you can name anything like let's say uh what would i say let's say it is factor okay so factor and you can keep here factor for choosing mobile phone uh factor for uh, uh choosing mobile phone as your preference whatever you want to label it you can label it and click uh, just everything is done now you want to you have to click here add okay so after you all are done with these things name label counted value and this variable set you need to add now your multiple set factor that is factor uh, one set is created now after you create this click it here the name is here now just you need to close this now, so now from screen to looks it is one set of question a uh, one set of variable right now let's go to analyze go to multiple response here you can see frequency just click it now you can see multiple response it is factor just click it and send it to this table now after you send it here you only need to do one thing that is click ok when you click ok you will get the results now you see you have got this table and you have got this table as well right so uh, this is what the answer is so you can just copy and and paste it wherever you want to paste right so this is what our answer is so how many people what is the maximum uh, people look while buying the phone let's see uh, the 16 is highest so people let's say is key screen cost and stories uh, people see the most while purchasing a phone according to this survey okay and in the same way you can analyze and describe yourself let's skip it now finally we are left with the likert scale so, uh, for our last analysis we can do likert scale analysis in two three or there are many ways of analysis but for our simple research what we will do is do a very simple comparison of these likert scale factors right from this to this this is the option or variable for likert scale now what we will do is we will go to analyze we will go to tables sorry uh, we will not do this this may be complex let's go to uh, compare means okay and here in compare means you will click means now whatever the option was for the variable was for the uh, likert scale we need to select those options only so let's say i have already selected it so let make these things back so the when we come here first time it will be like this so we need to select all the options which are variable or, or the options which are in likert scale that is from brand consider uniqueness consider ease of operation whatever that were in our likert scale questions right that is from physical attribute to storage right so from physical attribute that is considered physical attribute that is from physical attribute to stories we will click everything we will select everything and then we can just send it in this table now we'll go to option and here we can choose whatever we want to calculate right so let's say we only want to calculate mean number of cases and standard deviation 
or you, if you want to calculate more you can calculate or select from here so i will select only these things now i will do continue and then i will click ok when you, you will click ok we will get our analysis report of likert scale so this is the likert scale so this is i think the second table is the important one that is you can see the standard deviation for physical attribute band uniqueness ease of operation everything you will get also the mean so in this way you can analyze whatever analysis you want to do you can do it yourself so this was all for today that is spss full tutorial video and from this tutorial i am sure that you can learn everything that you need for a simple report making and analysis of your data from questionnaire so we have read all these topics and thank you for uh, watching this video and i will i would like to uh, say good luck and best of luck for your report as well in this way you can do your report and prepare well your uh, uh, assignment right so thank you for watching this video and if you like this video just give it a like button if you have any questions regarding this video you can just ask me in the comment section okay and uh, yeah that's it and also finally don't forget to subscribe my channel that will help me i am very close to get 1000 subscriber uh, this year very soon uh, hopefully in one month so thank you very much thanks for watching good luck bye bye